Hi there, in this video you are going to learn how to use a program called Compose, spelt with a K. This will allow you to take Docker Compose files and convert them to Kubernetes resources so that you can run them in the K3S or Kubernetes K3S cluster. First of all, we need to install Compose on our machine. To save you time, this video is based on my blog posting and we will provide a link to this blog posting below. If you are using Linux, there are two ways to do it. You can run the curl command. Personally, I prefer to do it this way. So you take that command, you copy it, and we paste it into our terminal. This will download the compose file. And if we look and see what we got, you see we've just downloaded this file here. Now the next thing you need to do is to change the name from Compose Linux 64 or Mac or whatever into Compose. So we will run this command. And we now have a file called Compose. We then need to make this file executable. That's the next step. And you use the chmod command, chmod or chmod. And if we look here now, we see that it's executable. Previously, it was not executable. Now it's executable. So now we use a command to move it or you can copy it. I prefer to copy it to the user bin folder. So slash usrbin. We've now installed compose. We can test it. Compose minus v. So that worked. When you're working with Docker Compose YAML files in the same folder, the command says at the same level as your Docker Compose file, you will run Compose Convert. So let's create a file, Docker Compose YAML. And we paste into that this content here. As you can see, I've already done that. And then you save it. We can now use Compose Convert. So let's run that. And you can see it's generating a whole lot of YAML files. It said created. So ls minus lat. And there you are. These are all the new files in the reverse order of creation. So the newest file on the top and the first one on the bottom. So now that we know that we have these files, we can now run the command to apply that into Kubernetes. So I'm going to use the second one because that only has my files. And it has deployed. So let's run the kub control get all. And you see it's created us services. It's created us deployments. It's created us pods. And if we run this command, describe front end. Front end is one of the services. You look here, this service is front end. So let's run this command.
and you will see there'll be an IP address here. So we'll be able to call to that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and it's this one here, 10. And that shows that it worked. So what we have done here is we created a Docker Compose file. We converted it into a set of YAML files, which were resource YAML files for the Kubernetes. We ran the apply command, applying all those files. You could have applied them individually. However, we used this apply command and we applied all these YAML files that were generated. And having done that, it then deployed and did the whole deployment onto the Kubernetes cluster. Now, if we want to delete these or uninstall them, then this is the way to do that. We have to do this in a certain sequence. So we've got to start with the deployment. So we've got to say kub control delete deployment and then give it the name. If there's one regis master. And then it deleted it. The next we want to delete regis slave. And then we want to delete front end. So if we go back now and say kub control get all we see we don't have a deployment. You need to delete the deployment because if you delete the services, the server will see that it needs these services and it'll redeploy them. So let us now do the same. Kube control delete service with Redis slave. And then we can also do Redis master. And then we need to delete the last one, and that is front end. So now if we say group control get all, we see that we've completely uninstalled it. Thank you for watching this video. We trust you found this content interesting and useful. Please tell your friends about this channel and about this video. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so that our channel can grow. Cheers for now. <music>